We're waiting and we'll get this place over there. Okay. Call to order and recording of members present and absent. Kane. Here. Hanson. Here. Pingleton. Here. McDermott. Here. And Parker absent. Special meeting compliance statement. I, the undersigned clerk of the Board of Education at the Alpha Independent School District, number one of Woods County, Oklahoma, certify that this notice of this date, time, place of the special meeting was given at least 24 hours, 48 hours prior to this meeting to the County Clerk of Woods County, Oklahoma. It was posted in prominent public view at the office of the superintendent. I think before we get started on this, because it's uh, obviously our most important thing we're here for, we need to acknowledge, we don't have to vote or anything, but it's with a heavy heart and um, that we accept uh, Coach Parker's resignation. And he said, I need to resign my position on the Iowa Public School School Board because of health reasons. And he says, I've enjoyed serving and do appreciate your understanding at this time. So cool Coach P has, uh, Larry Parker, he, uh, he was one taught here at Alva one of our football coaches and was okay. our special, he was speech pathologist oh, in my. our school district for a long number of years. Long, long, long time. Tenure. He and his family both, he and Charlotte both were lifelong educators in our public schools, yeah. as well as Northwestern played a big role in things at the university too. So um, we are going to miss him dearly, um, mostly his kind heart and the fact that he, uh, you know, it's nice to have an educator on the board, someone that uh, really gets it from the standpoint of the classroom. Um, and so we will miss him dearly. But Absolutely. Uh, anyway, we do accept it and acknowledge it, and we will move forward with our process, and uh, which means we advertise it in a sense. We'll be using our social media outlets to advertise that the position is open. We will accept uh, applications in a sense, and then we will interview those that have applied for the position, and then we'll fill it. We have 60 days from today, is that correct? To fill the position. So we, will do that. But we do accept it with a heavy heart and wish him the very best uh, in his health journey. Yes, so we cannot not replace him, but we sure are going to do a good job of trying to get somebody here to do it. Possible discussion regarding the board superintendent search process. Um, Stephanie, thank you for being here today. We've used your services in many things uh, through the course of our journey here, and we thank you for being here. We have voted to accept uh, the basic search fee. We didn't know what else we will add okay. to it as the time goes on. So let's start. I'm going to turn it over to you as you visit with us about what are our next steps and what do we need to do from here. Okay, very good. Well, again, first off, thank you all very much. We've always uh, enjoyed working with you all as a board and worked with you all really closely during the strategic planning process. So, uh, and I know you just kind of re-kicked that off again, so that's an exciting time. Um, so I think one of the things we need to think about is, you know, kind of where, when are your thoughts, we need to back in a little bit to the timeline of what your thoughts are and when you would like to have things wrapped up. Um, I will say with us coming into the um, holiday seasons, it can make things a little bit wonky with the schedules. And so I'm going to suggest let's just talk a little bit more specifically about the process and some of the better, some of the details. Mm -hmm. um, and then once we have some of those things ironed out, then we can finalize what we think that timeline should look like and what that would look like. So um, one of the first things is, and I'm guessing minutes clerk, yes, um, that I'll be working really close with you. And I actually talked to Dr. Argo on the way up, and he said he would be happy to help in, in the capacity that would be helpful to us, but of course not cross that line mm -hmm. of when it becomes inappropriate. And um, that is helpful on our end because um, we can use that the connections there in that central office to help us collect all the marketing materials. You know, like kind of chamber of commerce type, you know, kind of your chamber of commerce speech, you know, your three bullet points, your marketing, your logos, and things of that nature. So, um, and I just got kind of a checklist basically of things that I'll get sent out to you all at, uh, at the end of this 
at the end of our conversation. Um, so that will be the first thing. So one of the first things we'll do is just collect all of the information that we have and then our marketing and communication team will build you a customized search web page off of our search website. Um, we've done a really good job of everything on our website. I think that's just one of the one of the things that gets the most clicks. We've done a really good job, I think, of kind of training people that are interested to come to the OSSBA website for positions, so we'll get a lot of traffic there. And then, of course, we'll advertise all through social media. We advertise through COSA. We'll hit regional areas up here very, very hard in some of your neighboring states. Um, so that's kind of what we will use that information for to get all of that going. Um, additionally, uh, with that base service price, we will open a community survey um, that we'll usually leave open just for a couple of weeks to um, collect your stakeholder feedback in regards to um, quality and characteristics. It's a Likert scale, so mm -hmm. it's a forced choice item, so kind of their top five attributes in several different areas are going to come to the top. Um, and then let's just a quick summary and feed that back to you. So that that is a really nice thing for you all to look in regards to or the things I'm thinking about that we're interested in in line with what our community is saying. And I know that's something that you all have taken a lot of pride in is really staying connected with the community. So I think that will be a good tool for you. Um, and then we'll just make that decision on how long we're going to leave that search uh, period open. We have plenty of time right now. I think we could easily do a six-week kind of a traditional opening, but again, I think let's take a look at the calendar on what that what we want to do with that. Um, we do have an online application management system, uh, and each of you, basically what that does is I create a job profile. Um, that link, the application link, is embedded in all of the marketing and communications we send out on your behalf, and the um, applicants come into the system uh, fill out their information, you know, we're going to ask for the basic information on the resume, a cover letter, their transcripts, um, just basic information along those lines. And uh, once they click submit, it's, it's held in their queue, so to speak, and then each of you will have uh, access to that account. So as those come in, you could just jump in every two to three days and see if you have any new applicants. And we found that to be really helpful because you're not trying to look at everything at the last minute. <laughs> you know, you can kind of process some things and go ahead and I'll, 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 I'll provide you a rubric so that you can do some scoring as well. So basically your homework during the application period will be to review and rank those applications based on um, the things that you all have determined are going to be important. Um, and then, of course, at the end of that time, your final assignment, so to speak, will be when we close the application period, I'll come back up and we will have another meeting and review those applications. But I will ask you to bring your three to five to the table. So we're not going to be talking about this many, we'll talk about this many, right? So each of you will bring your three to five to the table. We'll work through a process to have some conversation about that and then make those um, come to a consensus on who you are, have an interest in and moving forward to the interview process. We also will customize your interview questions, um, really again based on the things that we learn about what are going to be important for you all at the district, so you're going to have an opportunity to just, you know, really kind of hone in on um, the things that are important to Avil during that interview process. Uh, and then we kind of handle the communication with the applicants during that point. So we will communicate with the applicants that you are not going to interview um, and thank them for applying. Uh, and then we will be in just constant communication with those in that first, you know, that first round, that applicant pool, that first candidate pool and then help you have those conversations again from, you know, you have that first interview and you make that decision if you have five and you narrow it down to two, you know, you'll move those two forward and we'll help coordinate that process as well of 
making those notifications and then helping with the interview process itself. So that's kind of a big, broad overview of the things that you all agreed um, up here in the top. Is there any other questions you have about that? But I want to mention a couple of the additional services that you may or may not uh, want to proceed with. Where do, and I know that's an additional service, probably more of the background kind of checks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, where you do maybe a social media check. Yes. Check the OSS, OSBI check kind of yes. to see yes. if we have anybody that's been in trouble or whatever. Yes, yes. Now that's a, that's an extra fee. It, it is. It is because it's very. We use a. If if does anyone have any questions here? I'm sorry. No, you're good. Yeah. You're good. I just want to go ahead and go down. I think so. I, do we understand this little part? Okay. Good. okay. Like it's it's a process, and so it's. I mean, it's going to be. I'll just say it's. It's a lot at the upfront, sure, and then it's going to be quiet. And it's going to be a lot at the end. Um, it's just the, the way the activity will work. So the um, the due we call it the due diligence screening. We outsource that to a company called Baker U Banks, which is what they specialize in um, is executive uh, screenings, and they have three different kind of three different packages, mm -hmm. so to speak. One is kind of your basic, you know, sex offender list, Department of Transportation, accreditation, you know, that their that their certifications are accredited, and then it's a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, for each of them from there. It it ranges depending on where you go from like 9 to 1200 per applicant. And so ideally what we will do is do it with the finalist. So you've got your group of your first round candidates, and you narrow that to two to three that go into that second round, and then that would be the group that you would want to do that on. So you don't have quite as much expense. The one thing to keep in mind is it will um, it ex will extend that period if you want those results prior to that second interview. It'll be about a ten week, so it's like a two week break in between that first interview and the second, rather than being able to do it back to back. So what we'll do is we'll kind of hold dates, you know, for all of those things in that in the event that you decide you want to do that. So we really can just kind of put a placeholder in there. Mm -hmm. um, some districts, it's it is really really great information. And when mm -hmm. I send you guys the packet of information, I'll send you some details on that. Um, more districts are using it than they ever have before. Yeah, about half to. <laughs> we live in a society that you just is, don't know. is important. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just don't know. And sometimes it depends on who, who's in, in your pool. You know, sure. it may be someone that has been a long-term superintendent and has a high, highly regarded across the state, and that's not something that you have a concern about or, you know, it would have bubbled up by now. Um, versus someone that may be lesser known, or you may take the position of, you know, it just doesn't matter how well we know them, we want to do our due diligence and make sure that we're Can doing we this right way. for requiring that for some and not for others? So that's just a case It's pretty case. normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's cost prohibitive, yeah. you know, to do it on your whole pool. It does not qualify as, it really just becomes your... Um, information. It does not qualify for what the State Department of Education asks for, mm -hmm. um, but what this is, it's much, much deeper. I noticed with the, uh, when we do some presidential searches on the region side of things, we do some personality type profiling, mm -hmm. um, which shows if they're, you know, a candidate for, uh, you know, just getting along with people, fundraising, mm -hmm. their ability to, mm -hmm. is, is that necessary on this level? It, you know, I actually think it is, and I will tell you that we have looked at a variety of different tools, platforms mm -hmm. for that, and have not settled on one. However, um, myself and two of, two of my colleagues are going to the Gallup training. So we're going to become Gallup Street Coaches. You're probably familiar with that as well. Um, probably won't have that under our belts by the time we're finished here. There's some but, pretty strong Oklahoma Bay 
ways to be There are. To so that. I'm happy to talk with you about that to see what that would look like. Um, I, I have seen a lot of value in that. The other thing is I know that I have some college, colleagues in other states um, that also have access to something. So that would be something that we could look at as well on if it's a tool that they found to be especially helpful in the superintendent, public education realm, you know, versus higher ed or in the business. I'm surprised at how much it um, brings to the surface, having done some and now see some people that we've employed for seven years and we realize that something they were telling us there actually is, is true. It's, it's crazy to think that to put that much stock in something like that. Yeah. But it uh, definitely um, is interesting. It is. Yeah, um, it is. It's not a deal maker or a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. It's just a, when you've got people that maybe are really close, mm -hmm. it may be a deciding factor. I think and things I, like that can help us find the right fit yeah. for mm -hmm. what we have. and mm -hmm. might be Especially. really good, but not the right fit versus but be a better fit somewhere else, or I'm a big fan of the personality. So it, it really would just, it would just need to be a, you know, a piece and a small piece, mm -hmm. you know, of the decision, the decision making um, factor. Mm -hmm. The top two, or mm -hmm. you know, you can down a couple of them. I just don't know. Well, I will. I'll tell you what, Jane. Why don't you kind of check on your end? I, I, I can give you I we've used it. it She's I'll, out of Edmond. Okay. We've used. I'll do some research um, there, and then I'll check with my colleagues, and we can just see. We have some time. I don't see what we can kind of pull together really as options. Really expensive. I, don't, I think again, it's the same thing. If you do it kind of towards your end, yeah. you know, on whether or not you want to do it on your first round, folks, or wait to do it for your second round. So. I didn't see anything like that listed, but I no. We're working on it. Well, it's, <laughs> it's not something we used to think a thing about. Uh -huh. But people could interview and just knock you out of the park. Or look real good on paper. Uh -huh. And then mm -hmm. and and I'll be some real. And it's a surprise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So yeah, no, I think I think that's a good thing. So I'll put that on my list that we can look for. I'll that. get you that information. Okay. That way you can get okay. list if you're searching for stuff. Absolutely, that'd be great. So um, again, I think, so we'll do some research on the personality type testing and see kind of where that might fit into the process for you all. Uh, we'll, I think we'll hold a couple of dates uh, for the background screening if you all decide you want to do that to make sure that we're covered there on dates and are not scrambling. Um, the other two things that you may be interested in additional services, the first would be um, I'm not certain what order they're listed in. Uh, yeah, the first one is the communication package, which is again, you hire, do you have your own PR person? We've got a pretty good social media person right now. Okay. That really is getting things out there very timely. That's great. She seems to be good at creating things as well. Okay. okay. Um, but as far as any other type things, you know, like press know. releases and things, not no, quite and I, there. Well, I don't okay. know, but then okay. we have good media coverage here locally that do any press releases. Lady Marianne, that we needed to do on your end, um, she can get press releases out for us. Right, right. No problem, but what do you guys think? Uh, that's not a lot of money, but it's... it's no, but let me, let me just explain to you what it would include, so that way you can have all the information. So again, it's hiring, it's hiring our communication team. It's Amber Fitzgerald. Um, do you all know Amber? I she do. worked at Enid. Enid for a long, long time with Sean. Mm -hmm. um, so she's with us now. Um, but she and her staff will help. The first thing they'll create is kind of your first release. So the first would be an announcement to your internal staff announcing that you've hired OSSBA, the details of the search, when we're going to close it, the link to the survey, mm -hmm. you know. A, a letting your staff know first these are the things that are going on and then it will also include a press release for the paper. Um, the second piece if you chose to do it that we haven't talked about yet though would be if you decide you want to host focus groups for me to come up and visit with your staff um, or your community members she would help with the um, getting the information out on that and then the third piece is 
a reverse of that first one. So it's announcing the hire internally and then preparing communication to go out um, as a press release. So that's, that's, those are the pieces that are included in that package. <clears throat> and then really what we do is we create them. Um, she would work with, so the, you know, at the front end it would be a quote with you about you know, your hopes for the process and you know, how you're looking forward to that. And then the final release would be another quote from you as the board president, as well as the person you hired, um, to, as a soft introduction to that from that to that person. What's that cost? Seven fifty. Sorry, did you guys No, you're good. I'm I didn't. I didn't bring it. I didn't grab it. It's I just did. it's from last. It's from last That's time. That's okay. I'm just seven fifty. And then um, the other piece that I mentioned is the focus groups and. We can, we can kind of cobble this together however you want. Um, it just is an opportunity to have face-to-face -face conversations. You know, like I'm having the conversations with you. I can have it with your teachers, your admin team, your other staff, if you want to do parents or community members or business leaders. Um, we just find a day. You schedule, schedule me as many as you can, and then I'll just be So around. tell me how a typical focus group uh, they would be, you would be the moderator, possibly, mm -hmm. and there would be a series of, uh, uh, do you let them, do they have to uh, present something to you first? No, they, um, really, I just, I, it's the same for everyone, because mm -hmm. I really want everyone at the end of the day to have all the same information. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we talk about is just our role like OSSBA's role and how we are here to facilitate that. You are the decision makers. We're just going to facilitate that process. Um, so that's the first piece. Talk about uh, the process itself and what the timeline looks like. Um, and then just collect their data. First, we're going to want to know that they've filled out the stakeholder survey. Um, and then next will be just very open-ended questions about what I'm going to talk with you all about here in a minute are the strengths of the district, your growth areas, um, and just really the qualities and characteristics of the person. That so they're needs to informational be here. only. We don't give them an opportunity to ask us questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. And usually, and actually, frankly, usually for the, anything with the staff, I ask that the board not be there because mm -hmm. I need to have that conversation with them. Sure. Um, and then you may or may not show up for community meetings. Some boards choose not to, um, and or you can. It's whatever you want to do. What's your privy about that? We work so hard on strategic planning and incorporating community and student involvement and the teachers involved. I mean, you've seen the, the listing of who's been involved. I think it's pretty important to get everybody's input. I think we've, we've started that a lot again, and all of a sudden, if you put the dam up when it comes to hiring the head honcho, that looks to maybe, maybe appear a little suspicious. And we don't want that. We want to be as open as possible because, I mean, these are our kids. These are our mm -hmm. neighbors who are the instructors, and these are our, this mm -hmm. is who we are. So I I think focus groups are good. I've been part of them with, with city and other, and I, I've appreciated the fact that they wanted to hear what we had to say, good or bad. I mean, well, it was always a positive because mm -hmm. you're looking for what are you looking for? Right. Not, yeah, we're definitely we're not, we're looking moving forward. on. We're going to talk about it looks how like terrible to me they're right. in informational only. It's mm -hmm. not right. not up there to hear what no. we have to say. No. It's more of just... Oh, no. Yeah, it's just, it's really just collecting their, it's just collecting the stakeholders' opi opinions about, again, just, so you know, what do they really to... see are the strengths, and what are some areas that, that can be improved upon, and so who comes what's up this with person the list need to look like? Stakeholders? <laughs> I mean, we know who the educators are. You all do. Okay, we, yeah. just, we come up with, and, and, I mean, how many it's parts of that? <laughs> So I, mean, I think we have it a manageable number. I think four. we have it four for four. It would be like my travel costs, and it's like an additional twelve hundred dollars for me to be able to do four of them in a day. Um, and then, but of course, you can add to that if you want. Well, and then we just would prorate. We just would prorate, prorate that out. So but usually, four groups are about sufficient. So it would be with the group of teachers, yeah, you just, we just, you just pick. Can you seven people? I mean, the teachers. Oh, no, is that we want to see everyone that can be there. Okay. Yeah, I mean that would be ideal. Do you yeah. all have a common release time? 
it's close to a common release time? Probably not, but it could be arranged. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, even one of those early release days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same they, thing. That they've added on at the end, you know, I mean, they're kind of still supposed to be around working on curriculum or whatever the decision is for activity for that day. So, I mean, uh -huh. to me, we're right. not asking to stay till five. Right. It's like, right. to stay till <coughs> Right. That time or, you know. Right. Do we need four? You know, I thought kind of a student one would be kind of cool. Uh, kind of different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, See, when I wrote out community, to me, if you put community business leaders, that's the same. Because we're a small, we're a small town. I mean, I think mm -hmm. that's, you get some of the same people there. So if you had teachers and admin, that's two groups, correct? And community business leaders is the third group. The fourth could be students. Um, I think it's interesting. I have found through strategic planning, mm -hmm. our most honest answers come from our students. Absolutely. And they want to hear from them. They've shared some things that you think I didn't really think that was a big deal, and it is a big deal to them. Deal. And if it affects them, it's affecting their education. I mean, whatever yes. it is. Yes. You're absolutely uh, right. Yeah. And we've got some great kids that I think would be. No, I think good. that'd be good. So I, I think I, probably I like that. I'd start with your the other. I don't, and again, I don't know what your class schedule looks like, but definitely, I think your juniors and seniors definitely would be able to give some positive input. I'm not certain. So, sophomores can be a little squirrely. <laughs> Sorry, but I, sophomores, but I've had them, and, again, and I understand. Juniors, we're talking about a dozen, a dozen kids, six juniors, six seniors. I mean, I'm just asking. I'm working on it. I think it's okay to open it up to an assembly type. Yeah, I think yeah. we can try. I, 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 yeah, I, and I, I think this, you know, I think this is important to them. I yes, mean, our superintendents have always been very involved in the school. We, so, they, um, you know. so the thing that we'll need to make sure of in the auditorium will be the media. So we would need um, Wi-Fi availability, yeah. of course, um, projection, because with that many students, well, with it, really with any of the groups, I'll collect the data through an app called Mentimeter. Sure. We use it with strategic planning. Um, so they'll need their phones or their devices to input their data. What's, the, what's the program called? Mentimeter, M-E-N-T-I, meter. Yeah, it's really great. So it's like, you know, you I ask the question, they start typing the answers, and they start rolling up on the screen, which gives you an opportunity to just talk about them Plus anonymously. They come in, they can, all of a sudden this mm -hmm. one's taking the lead. And I think it'd be good for us to do overall yeah. eval what we're doing. And I think I answered your question about the, Validity of the auditorium, that'd be a Nick Brock question. Um, I think we should have good enough. I think so too. I mean, they would all be on their Chromebooks, surely. Yes, mm -hmm. I think so too. I mean, I, I would I think it would be, but that's yeah. a. As no, far and as I think, I mean, I really do think that if you can get, like I said, it really will just, we'll just need to kind of look at your calendar. And I you looked know, at one of those early release days, November 8th is the first one. That's pretty quick. Yeah, that's too quick. The <laughs> next one's not until February 15th. Yeah, it's too late. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't think that'll work. The early so I mean, and options. ideally, I'm well, I don't know if the students will ever be disappointed if they're released early yeah. from class and we ask the teachers to stick yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. I, I'll have to <clears throat> next in case there's some it's upset. I'll go thing. counsel them. So I think really it'll be the, the hardest thing getting to this time of year is avoiding game night. I know. Like you're going to have Tuesday, Tuesday and Fridays, and you guys are still playing football. Well, Tuesday and Friday for basketball, you're still in football right now. Mm -hmm. And that has wrestling, wrestling we weights. We wrestling. So we're still Tuesday and Fridays are the days we need to avoid mostly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we, and how many groups are you thinking? What were the ones that you Well, I, I said teachers, right. admin, community slash business leaders, mm -hmm. and students. Yeah. Those are the four that I think of. Mm -hmm. But what do you guys think? Most gentlemen have wonderful yeah. input. So I is there a group we're leaving out? Just do, just do the full group, like, entire community would include your businesses, your parents, yes, everyone parents involved in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so um, really with this, let's see, this schedule, we could do like probably, I'm just talking off the top of them in my head, but just kind of think about this. We would do like the admin like maybe early, mm -hmm. like early, early afternoon or like right after lunch, mm -hmm. and then get the students in mm -hmm. before school's dismissed, mm -hmm. get a time right for the 
afterwards for the teachers, and then an early evening for everyone else. The other option, if you wanted to add a fifth one, and I don't know your community, is you could do, you could start with a luncheon, like a business luncheon. If you had like a bond advisory team or a, you know, like if you had. Why don't we ask our strategic planning? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you brought them in for like lunch. Mm -hmm. Just get some pizzas or whatever mm -hmm. and ask them to come. Mm -hmm. I think we, we could treat them rather special. Most of the admin are there. Mm -hmm. uh, that would I, be good, because would that knock out the admin meeting? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because they're all on goal areas. Right. Mm -hmm. right. <coughs> well, I mean, we, we, That'd be really we've got some. We've, we've got a foundation of people that are used to coming for two days and sitting and going through that process. Uh -huh. with, and I deal with, I mean, they represent. They, they should represent. represent they they seem teachers. to be a good representation. Of, you know, they can still go online and, and do sure. surveys. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Another group, or which other group were you talking about? Oh, no, no same thing. I mean, okay. As far as, as you have the strategic planning community members that are part of that as well, but admin is always, I don't know, would admin be better served to be by themselves to not feel like they... They may want a more private conversation. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean... I think maybe just... Well, let's think about it. I, yeah. Well, I think I love this idea of bringing in your committee. I think that's really I do too. I think that's that exactly really cross section. If we don't exactly, we'll get a good turnout for that. Yes, yeah, I think so. Yes. We've so. yes. got students. Yeah, it's a good cross section of who we already uh, respect and have faith and confidence in what they're going to tell us. Um, for sure. And it's like you said, it fits exactly into your goals and objectives of just continuing to keep everybody involved and. Have That's some right. shared decision making, and this is shared leadership. I mean, you all are demonstrating. The rest of these, we would not leave out those that that maybe aren't a part of that group, but still have something that they could be included as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, but I do think we figure out a new. I mean, everybody's got a new now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think that'd be good. So, I would think um, I would still encourage your other. I'd encourage everyone that's on that mm -hmm. strategic planning team to come. But then I would also still open their individual sessions. Yeah. So I'd still have an admin session. Yeah. Your teacher, um, your students, and then the community. So essentially you'll have five. Could have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was thinking we'd have one when I first started. <laughs> one of these, and that would be all we need. Really. It's, it's a lot of data. I mean, you know. It's wrong. And, 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 uh, uh, well, I'll tell you what's really nice um, for you all in this community is they're trusting you. I mean, because of going through the strategic planning process and they've seen, they're realizing some of the things that you all have done, they're like, oh, wow, they really want to hear. And so I think when you invite and open these things up, I think you're just going to continue to gain momentum and people that. wanting to participate and and knowing that you care enough to follow through. We have, I think you're starting to really prove that and gain traction with that. I think we have, like any community or any, we have two, really two distinct groups. You've got that group that's always supportive and always understanding in there. And then we've got the group that, that is uh, not, wants things to change. They feel like they, they see change and they want change. So, and that's I think with our Community with our nation, mm -hmm. with everything, we have those two types of, mm -hmm. of uh, groups, and I'm glad we'll give them all all a voice. That'd be good. Absolutely. No, I think that's great. So I think then the next thing will really just be the challenge, and frankly, a lot of this is going to depend on my schedule. So um, you just drop everything. Because <laughs> you're the only just I'm working with. with. Just come on. We're family. I know come we on. are. <laughs> What's she doing down there? She's our girl. No, okay. well, <laughs> we understand. Yeah. yeah we're so right. I will. Um, I really will just need to look at my calendar, and then just give you some dates that we could do that that we just need to block off. So I'll send you some, then I'll just block several, and then you, you can get with your team. Tech too. Oh, I'm sure you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, host it out there. Yeah. You can. Your strategic plan for sure seems to work out really well okay. out there. The, um, Especially if you're doing students, a lot of students doing the auditorium, it'd be yeah. better if they're there because then they can just they don't have to be trans. 
But maybe it'd help you to be all in one same the same location. Uh, but if you're doing a luncheon, you may want to do. No, I well, think they're, they're medium. I mean, they have a screen. Like you said, you're needing lots of different things. Right. That they. But I'm sure the sales tech would be more than happy to be a service right. that they can be. If you the um, the one I quit. I mean, students of course will be on campus. Admin will be on campus. Teachers after school, I would still encourage to be oh. here. I, re I would just because I don't know if they'll drive. Right. Be on campus, you mean? Like. Have it here rather than ask asking them to drive out to Gordon Cooper after school. Northwest Tech. Oh, that's not that. Northwest Tech. Right. Could they still do the auditorium? Could you still have your staff at that? That's up to you on whether or not you think that's you have to be. Yeah. I'm just thinking if I were a teacher and I had an optional meeting across the town, set up in one place already. Well, and you know, and air out might become really important. Mm -hmm. But there, you know. So <laughs> but they're also, the traffic is that heavy, and really, truly, this is their opportunity. It is to so it's show a, up. I mean, again, yeah. I mean, you can lead a horse to water when I choose right. to not drink. I mean, then when I sit back and play them, go, well, I don't remember seeing you there, I agree. Mr. Hanson. I agree. Um, but but, so, and they really, we've got fabulous teachers, and they will be. And again, I've taught for forty four. <coughs> I would be thrilled. I've never, I don't know if I've ever been asked. My okay. opinion in 44 years on awesome. who my super kid is going to be. So okay. I think they'll be flattered that we're asking. Okay, then I'll let you guys set up the venue then. Okay, um, okay. so I'll send you dates and then you can get everything else figured out. Okay. Cool. So, um, okay. Um, timeline. Timeline is. Do you guys have your. Do you have a hard calendar out? I know. I actually worked on this. I actually worked on this today, and um, the so I was looking at opening. Like if we could open again, we're just, just talking out loud here. If we could open November sixth, let's count weeks. So if we if we decided to do your communication package, which they help you get stuff ready, mm -hmm. that would make sure we're ready by the sixth. Okay. Because I don't. Do you guys think that's kind of mm -hmm. would be a good thing that seven hundred and fifty for their communication yeah. package. Yeah, so if you can, and it would be close, like I have emerging, Tim was in our, emerge, was our very first emerging leader class. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. So our next, our sixth class begins tomorrow. I know, which is pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. um, I know. Um, the reason I'm saying that is I may not get you the list until Thursday. <laughs> So uh, if we get, but if just if we shot for the week of the six, let's just say we're shooting for the week of the six, six, then it would be December. Let me look and make sure. Help me count my weeks. One, two, three, four. Week of the fourth, week fifth, the sixth week would be December twenty second. When are when are you all out of school? When do you get school? Yeah, our first day of breaks December eighteenth. December eighteenth. I, I would actually, I would leave it open. Um, I would leave it open through that because I think that there will be a lot of people that are taking that week off that may want. This would give them a chance to drive up here and take a look. It would give them a chance to put any final touches they wanted to put on. Mm -hmm. On the then and then close it on the 22nd, and then that gives you all... On December 22nd? Mm-hmm. You don't think keeping it open until the 29th is a good idea? We could. I mean, it's not, it's just... It's just dead time It us. is. It is. Like I said, there's and not, it would be... And that would that'd give us a little bit more time, actually, to get it I open, kinda, to get it right. I think the 29th. Okay. That way they have Christmas holiday that week. Okay. That's something that they want to be able to... I mean, it's like a week that's dead anyway. It is. Perfect. Okay. And then what happens from there is, when do you come back? Uh, teachers report back on January 4th. Students report back January 4th. Right. Teachers come back to January 2nd and 3rd for in-service. Right. All right. So, so this is where things will get really busy. So after we close it, 
we're going to need three to four special meetings. We'll need one special meeting to review applications, mm -hmm. and that will be an executive session. I'll send the language for that. And then usually, and these are usually back to back, so it's like a, a, a week that we do the application review and I can contact the applicants. The next week is round two. And then either the next week would be the due diligence screening or round two. What's our January board meeting? First, we, haven't, we haven't established them yet. We will at this coming <coughs> board meeting. It, so. The review meeting will take about, it's like an hour and a half. You probably don't, you don't want to tag and the that only on. That first week of January, the only day I have is the third. That's a Wednesday. Are we really adamant about staying off on Wednesday because the fourth starts week capital. Mm -hmm. The second we're at Blackwell High School game. What about know. what about the week of the fifteenth? Of January. Mm -hmm. Does that does that feel like it's up too late? Because otherwise it's gonna be the week of the eighth. Um, to start our first meeting? To, yeah, to do the application review. Because you said that one's a long meeting. That's a long meeting. An hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Well, we will not. We will have a board meeting January first. So you know, and it's going to be the eighth of January. It's going to be our January school right. board meeting. I mean, that's. Mm -hmm. How you looking at your calendar? It's a mess, isn't it? Yeah. Are you? Can you guys give us an hour and a half at lunch? I can. Have you, Kevin? Daytime meetings are ideal. Probably. Will you tell us, the rest of us, I mean, I can come you can get away from basketball time. nights meet during the day. I can, that week of the 8th through the 12th, I can do any noon that you guys are, are open to. Monday, Monday will be the eighth. Mm -hmm. It'll be the day that night. I know. That's but the Monday day. day. Mm -hmm. I'm in Sky Took, and then I have another meeting, and then but I'm we'll really open the week of January fifteenth during the day. Okay. Well, so you're saying Monday that the eighth through the twelfth is really not good for you. Not for her, except the eighth. The only day she could be here is that you could be here the eighth at noon. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a long that day for you all because that's that'll be your board meeting that night. Mm -hmm. Does that? How does is that? You guys want to push it to the fifteenth? Well, we got to get board member interviews in here too. So. That's right. I think um, the fifteenth is an okay day. Uh, we all be closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you if you could fit it in, I mean, I'm sitting here looking, kind of just looking at my at my schedule <coughs> is. Again on noon, I could do it. I could do a, a noon on Friday the twelfth, or I can do a noon on Monday the eighth, and then that would let us hold that first round of interviews the week of the fifteenth. I can do the twelfth and noon. I can too. It's Friday, Jess is at home. Can you that do that? Be Friday the twelfth. Uh -huh. Okay. And I will send you guys a calendar. Friday, golly, we're already talking about January. Gobble, gobble, Merry Christmas, let's go. Okay, now the rest of the dates we can. Okay, and then, yeah, I, I actually will need to give on my calendar, you all. I'm, I would rather do it while we're sitting here if you can. Okay. Sure. Okay, so if we do that on the 12th, then I'm going to need the 15th to make calls. And so here's, here's the next big question for... Um, interviews. Can you can you facilitate those and hold those interviews during the day? And if not, we've got to be really conscious about how many you're going to have to hold several evenings because I mean each one of your interviews is going to be at least an hour mm -hmm. and then you've got like a 15 minute kind of switch to get one of the candidates out to get the next candidate in. And so I just camped the 18th, 19th, and 20th. The kids are in the bus. 
high school kids are in class 18, 19, and 20. I, I really want, don't want to do it those if you guys don't care. Um, so we could do the 16th or 17th. But again, it depends on are we looking at multiple evenings or one full day. The 16th is a uh, Tuesday. I'm open the 17th, but again, you guys, if Wednesdays are bad, uh, I'm open the 16th or 17th. Excuse me. Um, if it's far enough out, I can work around. As you say, I, I have thing. school visits, but if I call and say, can I bet my day, they'll go, mm-hmm. Which okay, one, should... Tuesday or Wednesday? It won't matter. I think either one of those will work. Let's go with Wednesday because it'll be later, late enough for me to have a little leeway if I don't get them called until Monday. Right. I'll try and get them called every day. That would be a new meeting as well. Well, these are interviews. Right. So it's, oh, it'll be a whole day. All day. Okay. And school will be in session, so yes. this is another venue question. We can do it down here. Mm -hmm. At this building. Right here. Can't we, Terry? It's okay with me if you guys are comfortable with that. It, it's really. Uh, I haven't watched anything in the back before. It was the last time. Uh -huh. Okay, let's. And we'll review that and think about that. Look, confirm that later. Okay. Don't be so, sneaking a, a reporter up here, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Round one Crazy is Mary January seventeenth. <laughs> Crazy Mary. And just hold all day. And again, I'll send you guys calendars. And then. Um, We should hold. We should hold a day the week of the 22nd and a day the week of the 29th, so that you can make a decision about your due diligence screening. I'm open the 24th. And I'm open the 29th. Um, What does the 22nd look like? It's our boys are at Fairview for basketball. That night. night. It'd, be, it'd be another day. It'd be during the day. I could do the day of the 22nd. Is this, is this crashing? That's a lot of full days for you. Yeah, I mean. I, I'm sensitive to that, all of you that are for not, we can you know, they'll probably like carry me whatever work. she wants but to do. I'm old enough to do whatever I want to do. I'm flexible with work. Yeah, I, just, I mean, I, I'm but blessed because it's you an say, educational. It's, yeah, it's a win-win for my husband. Yeah. Yeah. We'll let you drive that because yeah. I know you're, you're the one that we're taking away from. Uh, you no, know, typically it's pretty slow that time. I mean, we do have audit starting January 2nd, usually by... That's just going on by the 22nd. Ten days, they're usually content enough they're out of here. Right. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh -huh. So I, I, I think we can, I think I can make that work. You want to shoot for the 22nd? Sure. We might as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kevin, if you we'll visit look. with your bosses, if they say, oh, no, you're not, just say, oh, no, I, I can't. So, yeah, I, yes. I, I, I so that's yes, round please. one, round two, that ought to be enough. Those are both interview days, it's, correct? Yes, those would be interview days. Okay. And so on we're, days. we're not going to use all of them, but we really right. need to hold one that next week in case you do the due diligence. So the week of the 29th. Open the 29th. I don't have anything on the 29th. And I, I will tell you, I am at the Gallup training. Okay. Um, so I, but someone else from our staff can be available to help. So we, I just need one more day. That week. I'll be gone that Wednesday. The 31st? The 31st. I'm we'll going to go February 1st on Thursday. Does that matter to anybody? Does that help anybody? I'll be February 1st. And then when will your when will your board meeting be? Typically it'll probably be January 5th. February 5th. I mean February 5th. That would be us. Almost get higher, but I don't know that you'd have it worked out. Just have to do another special meeting. Okay. That'd be okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's hold February first. 
<coughs> okay, let me let me put these down. January twelfth. <coughs> Excuse me. At noon. January at noon. January the seventeenth. All day. Noon all day. January the twenty second all day. Here at the central wow. office, both those second. And February first to be announced because we won't need all day. Correct. We didn't decide on a date to do the, um, I'm going to send you the dates for these. Okay. For the focus groups. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. This helps, really. I know that's a little well, stressful to get it off. Well, it is. It's it on my calendar. It but it helps us, too, because all I, I mean, all I need to do is just let my, my folks know that I'm out there. Right. And, and make, move my schools that I go to. Perfect. It's not, they're very deep. They're just so happy to see me, Stephanie. They just, we just, nice. they just, you just come when you want to, Miss Kane. Yes, yes. okay. You just bring sunshine Don't I know. everywhere you go. The camera's on. <laughs> I said that. I know. There's a green thing. That's what these, they've noticed these guys are going on. Yeah. Okay. Just the noon, the 12th would probably be fun. Like I said, hopefully they're out of there by then. All right. Well, we'll we'll work on it, and like I said, we'll we need to make it work with your schedules and not put anybody in a bind. Right. So let's yeah, right. absolutely let, let us know. So please let us know. I, I will. I'll, yeah. I'll actually get on that hopefully tomorrow and just yeah. see. But normally, a week to ten days there. They've had, they've had to fill with each other. Where are you? Where? Farmers Co-op. Farmers Co-op. Co okay. All right. Busy time. An important part I of know. the community. Absolutely. All right. Um. We talked about a lot of things, so let's talk to me. Just give me 30 seconds. Just shout a couple of things out on what you think the biggest strengths are of Alva Public Schools. Biggest strengths. Financial strength. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? They have a, I think they have a, they have a good uh, support staff meeting. Whether it be in the office or an extremely strong group that's worked a long time, mm -hmm. however you say that, that's, that's a real plus. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the other thing is all of our principals are really uh, good people intact. Okay. Um, I think we've got some excellent educators. Mm -hmm. Very dedicated. Great opportunities, academic opportunities with yeah. the university, career tech, and great partnership. Partners. It really good. Yeah. probably healthiest in the state to be quite yeah. honest with you with the okay. per capita. Yeah, I mean so. as far as what we I mean, for what you're we able just, to we just use, together. We then we have to use each other, which mm -hmm. is it's always been that way and it continues to be that's a very awesome. strong relationship. So that's really great. But we're very fortunate. Okay. I think our extracurricular program is strong as well. Good. So it's you feel like it's equitable, just in regard yeah, to so. students and investments and things going into yeah, that. Tremendously good. heavy. I don't think in, in one area really. Okay. Good. Our students can be involved in just all of the just so many things. There's there's a lot of activities for them to do. Which takes yeah. a lot of cooperation with the teachers, allowing them to be gone all day today to quite a contest. You know, I mean, there were right. like, there's a dozen of them that went to contest and. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a busy time of year, but, I, but but everybody understands what everybody else brings to the table. So right. you know, I let your students go you when know, it's not turn. Be sure right. they turn the favor, and, you know, don't penalize right. them. And so they, they seem to. Okay. And the kids are, do a lot. We've got a couple of kids I know of that serve on statewide committees, and are, you know, okay. SCCLA officers and are on committees. Okay. That's what I mean. That's and that's you know, it's, and it's, it's as you well know, too, right? Like you want them to yeah, be, but at but the same time, it's hard to be out of the classroom. It's six six hours have. just to travel. Yeah, you know, yeah. to go to a yeah. meeting. So that's good. And for your teachers and admin to work with well, them because yeah, again, I, it's, nobody's I, ever thrilled because we'd like mm -hmm. to think if you, you know, I said to the kids, when you miss my class, I'd like to think you miss something. Right. Right. 
So we're going to do it double tomorrow. <laughs> and they just like, come back and they're ready. I mean, they right. just understand. You right. just have to stay on top right. of that stuff. Yeah, so. exactly. They're not penalized for being in, in a lot of different activities. It just, right. they're, they're able to say, participate Good. in that. Good. We have a very uh, competitive salary package. Yes, we do. Uh, I think our, our salary is <coughs> going to be competitive. Okay. In the region, maybe in the state. So I think. Okay. They, we post salary ranges for higher ed. We, we don't post salary ranges for common ed. Okay. So there will be no posting of the salary. So using that, just words, maybe show that we're definitely yes. in, in And I will ranges. actually provide you with a, um, a comparable yeah. of like size districts like. across the state. Yeah. So you'll have an idea um, of where that is. We have good yeah. class size ratios and we have really good special education. Opportunities okay. for students with so disabilities and exceptionalities. Okay. Good. Awesome. What about some growth areas? There's some areas you're that you're working on that you know about, and <clears throat> you're not working on yet, but you know about. Them. I think you know we're right there on the brisk of looking at some. Level. Long Catherine improvement okay. type okay. Uh, uh, opportunities. Okay. Uh, we've got our uh, we've got a robust strategic plan in place. Mm -hmm. Which they need to know that we're in the middle of that and it's they have to continue. They're not gonna have to come in here and do go from the ground to zero. expected to pick it up and continue with yes. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean that's it's just right. it's, we need to stop on that. That's right. it gets like the focus groups. You're doing more damage mm -hmm. than good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do have some capital issues, capital mm -hmm. improvement issues. Sure. So we're older buildings. Okay. We need, we need someone that's kind of an expert in those areas. Okay. Um, I understand how to create a bond and get it passed. Okay. And in the event we need to go that direction. You know, the other thing we have, uh, we have a really strong foundation, mm -hmm. and um, we've got some nice endowments to, to support our educational programs for teachers' grants. Your, it, is it your education foundation? Yes. Okay. okay. You talk about it. It's a, it's a, it's a well-oiled machine that's been around a while, so okay. it's not like they'd have to come in here and start a foundation. Okay. Uh, we've got one. Up Excellent. They're, I mean, they're very active. I mean, they've got a, they do a lot. Wonderful. We're a very giving community. Mm -hmm. We're a very, very giving community. Mm -hmm. Philanthropic. That will support <laughs> right. anything mm -hmm. that the kids are involved in. I always laugh, Stephanie, because I've taught Mr. Peeney 37 years, and I've been told no. <laughs> but if, I, if it's for the kids, the kids might, might look at me like, oh, you're in. Okay. But they always They're free do. with they advice, always, too. They give a lot of advice. <laughs> do they? they <laughs> but they're very giving with kids. And, they, and I, you know, if our kids are... They can back up and support while they want to go right. do something. Uh, this community seems to always make it happen. Some, yeah. Somebody, right? we just all show up and make right. it happen. So so you guys, I mean, you're looking for someone that can, that has the ability to continue your financial position. Yes. To be able to maintain and continue and make that stronger. To um, really pick up and own your current strategic plan and get married to that and take that forward. Uh, progress. Mm -hmm. Someone that will continue to develop um, or respect the existing partnerships that you have and will continue to look and search for news, others. You know, well, we, we were kind of, of um, we were pretty innovating in our, uh, in beginning our one-to-one -one technology. Mm -hmm. Our kids are, we've had Chromebook one-to-ones for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, much longer than of districts. Okay. Uh, so I think we're, um, when it comes to that, I think we're ahead of the game. You know, we're, we're debt free. Uh, we have zero bond indebtedness. Mm -hmm. And so, but it's time that we take our buildings and our capital infrastructure to another level. Mm -hmm. So somehow say that where um, we, we have cash in the bank, but we need, uh, we're going to have to get somebody that knows how to do Okay. We have needs. We have capital needs. Yeah. Not everything's rosy. Um, okay. Yes. 
And we kept, I don't know how to go about salary, man. We worked really hard at pulling in all the salaries from the region to make sure our superintendent is uh, right there at the top of that. So Alva is a crown jewel of Northwest Oklahoma. Okay. It is. Uh, okay. And we want to make sure we act like that. Um, and, uh, we, we have room for, we, we really have room for academic growth. So someone that's in, uh, Strong in academia, in curriculum uh, uh, structures, curriculum instruction. We we need some help there. Okay. Um, so I don't really you talk about your balls or not, but we've got some room to grow yeah. academically. Good communication, mm -hmm. good team building. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got you know the old raw raw coach that comes in. And everybody jumps on and says, "Well, I don't know what it's going to take, but we're going to get it done." And that's I mean that's we have a lot of. We've, and we've had that. We just have to continue that and not decide, well, that doesn't affect me, so I don't care. No, right. it does affect you. It affects all of us. Everything affects all of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're transport, we have transportation issues, too. Mm -hmm. so. In regard to bus fleets. And aging? Aging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and take care of part of that before Mr. Argo leaves. Mm -hmm. Bonding. I mean, we're going to do that. That is a lot of We're going to do that master lease. Okay. So we're not going to <coughs> bond that out. Right. It'll still be indebtedness. Okay. Um, that we haven't had at this point. The master lease program was created by the legislature a few years ago. It's uh, where you don't have to go and get a bond. You can just actually go and just like we did if we were buying a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. called master lease. It's, I think it's been since 2002 that the Regional University System of Oklahoma has passed a GO bond. Okay. It's all done through master lease now. Okay. So it's different. Um, and we've not used the master lease program to my knowledge uh, because we haven't needed to. We've had reserves. Mm -hmm. So um, there's two ways to, to fund those issues. Okay. Uh, but our ratios are really small. And I don't know whether you can quote those ratios, Stephanie. That you know, how much um, uh, money you bring in? What's it's called? Uh, what's ad valorem mm -hmm. versus debt? There's a ratio that the bond people use. Mm -hmm. um, ours just looks almost unbelievable mm -hmm. because we don't well, we don't have any debt to go right. along with that ad valorem right. ratio. So um, I mean, we should look like we're you're in good shape. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Which we are. That's good. We are. We, I mean, I like that. Who, who can't get better? That's, we all can get that's better. That's much more right. enjoyable than the than the other. Sure. Than the other I mean, option. I mean, getting out of a hole. And unfortunately, there are districts that that's you know what that person walks into. So I think you all are good. Sure. It's good. getting better from the level we're at right now is a lot easier than getting oh. better from Absolutely. the hole. Yeah. It's just the it's security just of that, and just, knowing you've got some wiggle room. Yeah, that's absolutely. really great. So any, anything else that you all want to share with me, um, what I will do from here, like I said, it'll probably be kind of later, later this week, but I'll get you that list. Um, I'll pull our notes together and I'll get that fed back to you in a type of summary so you can have an idea of the things that we talked about here. I will um, send you the, along with the task list of kind of your hit list of things, There's, okay. it's going to be an Excel spreadsheet. You're going to have a, a task with someone, and the next tab is going to be your timeline. And I'll get that information filled in, and it's fillable, so you and I can just talk go and, and go back and forth on that. And then I will also send some dates for possible um, focus groups. Okay. And you can then share those with I think all of us. Have I finally got my email? You got your school mail. Okay. Um, Everybody's else okay. School you emails, good. Your emails, okay. Out of school, okay. So. And I will, and I will send you. Um, that's one of the things I'll send you is like an updated contact list. Perfect. And so if you want everything going through your through your Alta list, like I think I have your personal. Yeah. Um, so yes, put the ones yeah, you want the school fine. business to be on, Perfect. and I'll just make sure that that's what we do. That. Okay. And I will just so that you all know. Um, at the, at the front end, there's going to be a lot of communication right here and just kind of getting some things sure, finalized. Sure. But then um, when I talk to everyone, I will say Alva board members, but you will all be blind copied. 
So as much information as we can put out there, so all of you have that information, I'll just do updates pretty much every seven to 10 days, so you'll have an idea of kind of where we, we are, are with things. Sure. Um, and then, of course, if you have any questions right away, you know, let me know. The, the, the thing that I would just ask you not to wait on is when I send you the information to create your account, to look at the applications, get that done. Write your password down somewhere. Save that link, right? And so that you can just be looking at that periodically throughout the time that we go through that. Now, their application, which I thought was helpful in some of the other sessions I've been on, um, there's various things that were required, obviously uh, a resume. Do, they, do we ask for a cover letter? A cover letter will be included. I do want to ask, I do like to include, I call them application statements, yeah. Yeah. where um, the applicant responds to um, an evidence-based question, basically. So it would be demonstrate you have experience with capital improvement planning. And we would want that example of what that looked like with the details. Mm -hmm. um, because, again, everyone can look good on paper. And I think the application statement helps, number one, kind of check their their grammar and their writing mm -hmm. skills, which mm -hmm. is really important. And, it, you know, are they spouting theory out of the textbook from their right. latest graduate she class? She or are they really doing the work? You know, have they really done the work? <laughs> we sat in a meeting with OSSBA. And that's almost scary. Yeah. It, it is. We have had them uh -huh. present to us, and this is something we decide as we get to the interview process, of what their first hundred days would look like. Yes, and that's usually what we do for that second part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that part mm -hmm. doesn't need to be in the first part. No. Just to no. Okay. no, well, I really feel like we'll use the, so the application process itself is a, good screening tool, mm -hmm. and then you add that to the application statements, and that kind of helps filter that a little further. We really see that first interview as being another sc screener, in a when way. When do the letters of recommendation come? Do they come with the first one? Like, do they have um, they, re references only? So they will, you're going to see a variety of things. So the application system has an automated um, reference survey. And so if that reference survey goes out to whomever they put, and then that response comes back into the system. So what you may see, and I'll just let you know this, is the way the system works, it's in two parts. There's a profile part of the system, and that's kind of like all their general information, right? Their resume, you know, their transcripts, you know, where they've worked, what their work experience is. And when they apply to ALVA, that's where your application statements are. And so that profile is going to come over to this, your application, and then they'll have your pieces. Okay. There's a chance in that profile that they've already sent that out, they might have a reference from 2021, right, or 2022, because the system doesn't ask them to redo that, I think, every three years. So don't be surprised if you see that, and otherwise there'll be new ones up there. Um, but yes, so they will have uh, the reference surveys there. Some of them will upload actual reference letters that have been written on their behalf. Um, again, I think you all can make that decision if you want to call, call references once we have it narrowed down to that first round, or if you want to do it between the first round and the second round when you have a fewer, smaller group. Now, we'll want to assign that between us when we get those, right. when we narrow it down, we won't, we won't want to go rogue and just call and be calling right. people all over. We want to say, okay, I'll say, well, Shane, we're going to say, well, I have a good uh, contact with that, and that, you know, you right. call them about that. We we'll want to be very organized and well, we call. Exactly, and that's part of kind of all of these things. It's kind of my checklist of the things we'll do at the um, application review meeting. So we'll just Good. we'll kind of just attack things in pieces as an elephant. So we'll just attack it Good. a little bit as we because go. Because this 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 there's a difference between a closed search and an open search. And these people are applying because this is a closed search to start with. Mm -hmm. and it won't be an open search until we get down. I mean, we will not print. We will not 
say who our finalists are. We will not say who we're interviewing. We won't say who the top three are. We won't announce any of those things until we announce the person we're getting ready to hire. Yes. So that really makes people very comfortable in applying for our position because it doesn't get out or get back to their current employer True. that they're applying for this position. So it is closed. And when I mean closed, I mean closed until that's why we're very, very careful. Yes, you mu and you must be. And I, I, this is my 12th year, 130th search maybe. And um, it's, it's not good when, the board, when a board leaks an applicant's name. Um, the absolute worst case scenario is a person was offered the position. Mm -hmm. He went to the coffee shop in his community the next day and was asked about why he was leaving. And um, they ended up with their third candidate, right? Just the board just, they just couldn't keep quiet about it. And it, it matters. Um, it really matters. Um, sitting superintendents especially, because mm -hmm. they understand that these are, this is a personnel issue, right? It's executive session, it's personnel. And so that the philosophy is, Golly, they can't handle they can't handle a personnel issue, which is me, and keep a quiet executive session. I don't know that I can trust them to keep anything in executive session mm -hmm. quiet, mm -hmm. and it's they really, really, really use that as a <coughs> as a litmus test. I I will say, so I appreciate you saying that, and <coughs> supporting that. Um, that makes my job a lot easier when I can tell them we've had that conversation and I trust them. You know, the best I can trust. We can't control if the applicants put their name out there, and sometimes they do. <coughs> More likely that'll happen with an assistant superintendent or a principal. Yeah, and there's nothing we can really do to control that. Do uh, people, Stephanie, do people sometimes uh, have more on the interview committee besides just the board members? Not not so much because of the confidentiality. Okay. I didn't think so, but I want to make sure we were in that agreement sure. with that. Yeah, because I mean, you all are bound it. by your oath of office where a community member is not, and we can have them sign confidentiality agreements, but it's it's okay. difficult to make it binding. Okay. Um, what we prefer is if that's kind of where the focus groups definitely come in, mm -hmm. is that if you have a small group of folks that feel very, very strongly that you would like to really hear their voices, then let's pull them in as a small group um, and have some of those conversations with them. And then again, you all take that into consideration when you're reviewing the applications. So you can you can let me know if that if that occurs. Okay. So great conversation. You all have any other questions? I appreciate it so much. It's going to be a great. It'll just it'll be a great process and. Um, I'm very, very thankful. Uh, please let Dr. Argo know. He knows me well enough to say thank you for letting you know early. I cannot tell you. I know it's and it's it's hard and it's heartbreaking for everyone. Um, but to know early for you all, it puts you in such a better position um, to really be able to find some. Good, some good quality candidates that are out there, and this is this is a great time of year to get this started. So, right. so we've agreed on. Excuse me. Oh, no, I was I was going to say to the board members, it helps to have the dates. At least you know if something comes up, I go, well, I'm going the twelfth. Yes. I know yes. I can't on the seventeenth. It doesn't matter what it yes. is. Yes. And it, that just helps. So thank you. Right. But I want to reiterate, if you come across something, I mean, let Jane know. And I I I think Shane and I are. Probably more flexible than you guys. So I mean, as far if you need to bump it, okay. as long as I know ahead of time, and I, you know, let my crew know. So. Okay. So we've agreed on the communication package. Yes. To add to our original fee, mm -hmm. we've agreed on four focus groups to be held all on the same day mm -hmm. to be uh, facilitated by the uh, SBA. If you can't do them all, so that would help to do them. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of it is just what it is. When we bring them in, we pay to have her. She will facilitate that day as well. When mm -hmm. they come in, she'll bring them in and take them out. And they'll just mm -hmm. be here. She will also we'll have to pay for all their travel expenses mm -hmm. in. Yep. If they come mm -hmm. from in state or out of state, or they have to stay. Um, so all of that, we'll wait to see if we want to do any personality 
testing. We'll see how we feel. We get down to one or two, we may decide we want to do that. We may not. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, you just don't know till you get there. But when you're, when you're doing national searches, mm -hmm. you, know, you just have to have everything to help you. Mm -hmm. And these won't be as national as regional. Sure. They will, but actually, I'm the former um, chair of the National um, Association of Superintendent mm -hmm. Searchers. And so my peers in all of our other states will also receive sure. the um, opening. That's awesome. So, and and she did tell me she has some really good contacts with Kansas, the people in Kansas yes. that do this <coughs> job. So she's going to help us there. You know, we may have out the Navy, so we're going to sure. 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 move home. And that's always a really yes. good fit for us. Yes. So an extra mm -hmm. special, uh, you know. Yes. Uh, yes. And so, uh, Terry, have we forgotten anything? Hey, you guys are great. Okay. Yeah. We, we can't do it without her. No, we can't. Well, I know. Thank we're going to be friends. Trust <laughs> that. That's that's we already are, but we're yep. going to be better. <laughs> so she'll, great. Help, she'll be our greatest resource Perfect. of mostly being calm. Perfect. <laughs> I can handle that part. She's an amazing You guys have the tough job. Individual. Well, she's I'll, I'll tell you, she's... She especially will be appreciative of you using OSSBA because she will not have any questions. Yeah. 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 We, Cur curi you know, no little curious cats. Yeah. And if you do, you can say, I really don't know. Who's yep. Stephanie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know who's Stephanie. <laughs> our, our district's worthy of the best. There we are. process that we can afford, and I think we can afford this one. So great. Uh, we're thrilled. And our kids deserve I'm excited. Priority. I'm excited. I It'll be great. You are, you'll do a great job. Yeah. I don't feel Thanks. better the day when I felt like double. You're in good hands, I promise. Just trust the process. It'll, it'll work itself out. I'm going to say goodbye, let you all close. Okay. I'll hit the restroom and then I'm going to okay, head please. south and watch animals. Hope the wind doesn't.